Hello my beautiful gamers, wizards, witches, and muggles. It's me, Siren, and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. But before we get started, I want to give a massive thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys give me and the series. I've been loving it so much, especially the fact that a lot of you guys are playing alongside with me and sharing your Hogwarts journey with me. It's really been a blast. Again, I appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much. Now. In the previous episode, we found out quite a lot of things. We visited Sebastian at his house. It did not go as well as I thought it would, but I do feel like we're getting closer and we're getting closer to discovering what's going on, what's the story behind this ancient magic business and all that jazz. So if you guys are curious to see what happens next, then stick around and let's game. Okay, everybody, we're starting off today's video in the Slytherin common room for two reasons. Reason number one, I actually love it here. I think it's gorgeous and I don't feel like I see it enough. Um, there's no actual real need to ever go to your house, which I don't entirely like. I wish there was like a reason for me to go there. Um, I know we use the room of requirements for everything. But I think the houses are beautiful, and I would to love now? to use them more. But as you guys can see, I have a little quest marker over here because I got all the keys. And I'm really excited about it. I found most of them just by casually wandering around the castle, if you guys are interested. Um, there's basically one in each area, if I can put it like that. Granted, I did struggle a lot with the last... Three. I did in fact end up googling them to get the exact locations. I would not have found those. They were actually quite difficult. But yeah, if you guys are struggling with it, you know, you could just google the area. I have no shame. I googled my last three. Challenge challenges coming along nicely. But yeah, here we are. House robes. Here we go. The last house token. Time to see what's inside. Whoa. Oh, the song quest update the Dedalian oh, keys. Thanks goes to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. <laughs> I got it. Guys, I got it. Why is there still a quest marker on it? Okay, so let me show you guys. If you have not seen it before, <sighs> I present the house robes that you get with the keys. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, isn't it gorgeous? I must say, I've seen the others um, for the other houses, and I do feel like all of them are gorgeous. Like, I love the designs of them. I love how the Slytherin one kind of looks like... Um, what do you call it in English? Oh my gosh. Oh, guys, my brain just broke. The seagrass in Afrikaans. Um, seagrass? Sea <laughs> um... You know, the green plants under the ocean. Why is this happening to me? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I can't get the word now. Um, if you're Afrikaans, siagras. If you're English, I hope you know what I mean. It looks like those plants that grow under the water. <laughs> um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I love the little detailing there. Can I maybe go closer? Yeah, those chains with the snakes. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. And I love that it's like a very, very deep green. Oh, and the collar that sticks up like that. Oh, it's just such a beautiful robe. I'm so glad I finally have that. Look at that, guys. You can't imagine how inconvenient. And it kind of looks like it's glittering. Yeah, it is moving. There's a bit of movement to it. <gasps> oh, that is absolutely amazing. Now, why is there a quest marker there? Is there something I can still do? Let me quickly go to my quests and check. Yeah, speak with Nelly. Let's go. Guys, I have to admit something. I literally just had to WhatsApp someone to fact check and ask them what you call it. It's seaweed! It looks like seaweed! 
Oh, I hate it. Sometimes, sometimes I just can't English, and my brain just it just doesn't want. Are you to, able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? To give me the right words. So today's gonna be interesting. And also, look at the pumpkins. I haven't been out here on camera before, and let, there's bats over there. Ah, I love autumn. I should do a few side quests in autumn before the seasons change, and I will never see autumn again. But yeah, I got the keys. Let's talk. Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Whew. Well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. Is that all? They led to perfection. Quest complete the Dedalian keys. Woo. This is a good start to today's video. Now, something else I would like to do is I completed a few tasks for a few professors. So I would like to do those. I can go to professor... Um, oh, it's Madam Fogawa and then Professor Garlic. I also have to talk to Sebastian. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to go do the assignments first. Okay. Here I am. Oh, she's up here. Ah, is this her classroom? I don't know why I didn't think How she would did have you get on with those tasks? one. Revelia. Well, obviously she would have one, but... I don't know, I just didn't think it would be this. Dear Madam Kagawa, am I saying that correctly? Marvelous news that you will be joining the faculty at Hogwarts as our new flying instructor. That's cool. I dare say our work together at Hogwarts will be less eventful than our time near Yokohama Harbor, though one never knows. I shall look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please do not hesitate to send me an owl. Warm regards. Aw, Weasley. Matilda Weasley. Something over here too. Dear Madam Kogawa, I'm writing to do with Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream and I believe my chances will now be ruined or at least significantly thwarted? Thwart? I don't know. <laughs> Professor Weasley insists that we must defer to the headmaster and she encouraged me to practice on my own. I have advised some challenging trials for myself, but it's not at all the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Please could I ask that you speak to the headmaster or to Professor Weasley? I shall be miserable my whole life if I can't play Quidditch properly for this entire year. Thank you, Professor Imelda. Yes, obviously this is from Imelda. Poor professor, now she has to struggle with Imelda and her attitude. That's why Imelda has an attitude. She desperately needs Quidditch and she Hello. can't currently play. And now she's just miserable and looking for crap. Everywhere she goes. Because, you know, I feel like she's trying to get it out of her system or something. The poor girl. Uh. Lame. Nothing is ever going to be good anymore. Nothing is going to be good enough for me because I have this robe now. Madam Kogawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? We can say that. Not really. I did become more familiar with it. Did I become better? No. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. If this game Pay ever gets a Quidditch update... Work. <sighs> breaks my heart saying this, but I don't care, I'm not interested. 
I have no need to join the Quidditch team. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just uh, no. Flying is not for me. Vehicles aren't for me. Well spell done. unlocked. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. I will. Um, hopefully I see it this time. Mind you, the reason why I didn't see Wingardium Leviosa is because I thought it was a yellow spell, but it was actually a blue spell. So, which color is this spell? Oh, this is a yellow one. Um, oh, finally! I just realized I finally have a new yellow spell. Freeze enemies, increasing the damage taken from following... Oh, that's awesome! I will put one here, and I will put one here. Here. I just feel like I don't want to put them by my fire spells. Or should I ziggy zack them? Is that easier? I don't know. Quest complete! Madame Kogawa's assignment number one. Places. There you go! Catching them quickly. Wow. I must say I like that, thank you. Okay, now I am curious because if I remember correctly, there's a box at the library that you can get if you head through a fireplace. I wonder if I can get that with this spell. I will check. I wasn't planning on doing this now, but I'm here, so let's go. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Okay. Oh, oh my cloak is a bit dis disheveled. Accio! What was I thinking? How do I go about this? Um, so it pulls it in. Huh. Oh, that was dumb. I could have gone further. But I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. You'll have to do better than that. Oh, shut up. Akio. My ball is still on the board. Ah, now I can see what it does. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm comfortable now. Yes! I think. <laughs> if I just pull it enough... Yeah, it should be fine. I could have... Mm, why am I doing so poorly? Oh, how am I to top that? You're not going to. That one's just gonna go off. Or not. Okay. Let's hope for the best, guys. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Stop! 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 You'll have to do better than that. I scored How higher than you. That? I won! Good match. Care to have another go? Yes, right now. But of course. Splendid. I feel so failed. Oh no, there's... Okay, okay. I wanted to say, where's the challenge? Let's go. You and me. Accio. I just love my boots. What was I thinking? Okay, so she's gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start with the difficult... I'm starting with the easy one again. Accio. Little more. Little more. <gasps> How am I to top that? Accio! Must win this stupid game. That was sensational.
Exceptional! Akio! Hey! Can I get 50 points for that? Yes! <laughs> Wait, did I just get higher points? I just got higher points because of her blender. But that also means I can give her higher points. Yes. Oh, it's off again. Oh, sh mm. it's a tie. You'll have to do better than that. It's a tie. A draw? That simply won't do. A rematch then. <sighs> yes, rematch. Hurry. Good match. Care to have another go? Yes. But oh, guys, course, I hate splendid. this. Splendid. This is making me way too competitive. Hurry, fail your first Akia. pull like you always do. Now I'm wondering. What was I thinking? Maybe I should start with the middle one and the outer one, since that one isn't really gonna be obscured by anything. Maybe I should try Akia. it this way around. Okay. Cool. That was sensational. Akia. It, it's the hat. I feel like a real witch. Yes. <laughs> then I get these ones. Okay. Okay. <gasps> How am I to top that? Akio! And then there's a clear path for this one. Because all her bulls end up at the right side. Akio! <gasps> You'll have to do better than that. I won, though. That I won. Settles it then. <laughs> I wonder if I stand more to the right, if that would have helped. Uh -huh. After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. One of you guys told me about this as well. I did not have a poor show. I also basically got perfect score against Natty. You underestimated me. I'm not going to tell you well played. More like you underestimated me. That was your mistake. Fair enough. But a little sporting spirit wouldn't hurt you. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Whatever. <laughs> Match to complete of the summoning, summoning court. That wasn't fun. Um, okay, I'm quickly gonna teleport to my next class. But also, I know this is random and I show you guys the most randomest things. But I finally got the other outfit that I wanted. It was this one. This is the one I was talking about. Um, it has the long black boots. And kind of like a corset with purple underneath. My brother's doing well thanks to you. And he listens to me now. Turns out having beats for feet teaches a memorable lesson. Who's there you are. your brother? The cross one's duel is to beat. I am so confused. Any hoozy, let me go to class. To the greenhouse we go to learn more spells. Yeah. I think it's a new movement spell. It might be. I'm not I've sure. We said that travel broadens the mind. Oh, we're over here for a change. <laughs> I'm not going to lose any more sleep over my face. How do I get in there? If you try to study Professor? Oh. Hi! Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing tentacular. No. I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. 
Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilising shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realise how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. Thank you for teaching me you new spells. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Makes sense. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. <laughs> I will. Um, it was purple. Yeah, this is my last purpose purple spell. I finally have one of each. Wow! Flipendo, look at that! You're a natural! Nice! Can't... Do I, do I have to talk to you? There is a little thingy. Professor Garlic. A moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. Oh, I can just have a casual conversation with her. What made you want to teach herbology? I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask! I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. Really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St Mungo's for him. That's awful. That's almost comical. What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. Is he dead? I feel sorry for the former professor. I'm glad things work out as they did. Ugh, but I get the, the poor professor probably just got frustrated with all the plans. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Ha! Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Thank you for the chat. That was nice. Okay. Where shall we go next? I can't remember. Do I have another class I can attend? Okay, so next I am on my way to Hogsmeade because I see I have quite a few quests I can do there. I have, in fact, one for Serona get any more cozy that I would like Hogsmeade. to do. And then I have, I think, three other random ones that's just all around the place. Um, but yeah, let me go talk to her first and see what she needs. The quest name, I think, is a, is a friend in need. Just kind of sleep. Glad you came. Hi. I heard you needed help. Hello, Serona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lodgog? 
Ah, I did speak with him. Yes, he was really nice. We're actually working together. I did. Thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ranrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. Then I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. Of course. Why does Miss Sprottle, <laughs> Sprottle have a Wigan World supply? Why did you leave your box of letters with Sprottles. Sprottles? I don't know. Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wigan Wheel potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wigan Wheel potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Guys, I can't get over how pretty this jacket is. Like, look at the textures and it has like little diamonds on it really cool why did mr and mrs sprottle have your box of letters after all this time it's one of a few that i had when i was young dot found it when she was clearing out a closet can't imagine what's in there probably terribly theatrical ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends you're welcome to take a peek inside if you do find it to be honest i'd imagine it contains some lovely memories i will look out for it I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. Well, You'll do. find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. A friend Please do indeed. give Dot my love. Oh, Ooh, you teleported. I can talk to you as well. Chat with me again. Hello, Serona. You were hoping I'd check on a friend of yours, weren't you? Yes, my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield, north of Hogsmeade. Her husband Aidan recently passed away and she needs help collecting hawk lumps. I had also hoped you could find my box of letters. Okay, it's just the same again. Look at this cloak and the lighting. Oh, it's gorgeous, but like all the house robes are absolutely gorgeous. Um, because I did... Oh, the pumpkins! I feel like I should just have a stroll around Hogsmeade and like show you guys the scenery. It's so nice that it's like kind of Halloween-y. Like a scarecrow over there. But yeah, I did Google- Oh! Revelio. I keep interrupting myself. Waterwell! The savvy traveler knows that some watering wells may have more to offer than their relatively innocuous water well in the village of Hogsmeade? Revelia. What? I don't know what I just read. <laughs> um. Ooh, huh. Anyhoosie. What I was saying is, I have to get out of Hogsmeade so that I can actually use my broom. Look at the bats! Uh, I googled to look Sometimes at the other house roads. To Hogsmeade. And all of them are absolutely beautiful. I must say the Hufflepuff one is really nice because it's all black and gold. And the Gryffindor one is cool as well. Obviously with reds and golds. And then the Ravenclaw one is is honestly it's gorgeous with the giant um hook on it 
can I summon my broom now? So yeah, I got the black broom, guys, obviously. <laughs> also, I did tell you guys I was gonna get it. I just wanted to use the green one to show how it looked normally. Again, I will link my mods down below. Just keep in mind... Castle. <laughs> some of the mods my are very new. Oh. Rebellia. Um, some of the mods are obviously very new. So, for example, the Yennefer one, I know it keeps coming and going. Sometimes it's there and then the next moment I can't find it. So if some of the links don't work, I do apologize. Um, it did work for me when I got it, but I do know these mods can sometimes disappear quite fast when it's this new. So yeah, I just wanted to say that in case the links don't work. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Warning! Dog bog sighting. Be careful. Thank you. Now I know. Not that I know what a dog bog is. Oh, hi, little elf. Are you enjoying a Wonder nice who apple? Lives here. Sorry, I bumped you. Yeah, let's go break in. Oh, a letter. And they're not readable. Well, I guess I can read them if I open my inventory. Huh. Something's whispering at me. I got no clue. Ooh, there's a little side quest here as well. I wonder if I should do that instead. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Hi. Excuse me, did you say something about Barbara? Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona asked if I'd come to see you. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh! Dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganweld potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Thank you. Believe it or not, I have some with me. I can certainly try and find some for you. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Oh. What was Serena like when she was my age? What's in the box? We know what's in the box. Serena said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. That is true. Thank you, Mrs. Sprottle. Thank you. 
I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I, and the vendors I help, would greatly appreciate it. They're working so hard. Okay, let's go find the cave. I'm not gonna start that quest, because if I do it, I wanna start it and finish it. So I'm gonna go to the cave first. Oh, it's right up here. Where did I set my trip? Land. This is utter nonsense. I've never heard such rubbish in all my life. I think I get more sense out of Moonkart dung. What was that? Come out before I find you. Oh, now he's going to... I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. <laughs> it allows you to... Avelio. ...four people in mid-air. Simply complete a few tasks, and then come and see me. So better not be a trick. Not gonna lie, I literally just Seems heard like quiet night. Dumbledore's voice going, this must be Arresto this is Memento, in that one scene in Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, I'm such a nerd. Hi! Hi! Rebellion. In the cave I go. Enter. Oh. I hope this one is smaller than the previous still one. Still need to visit the cave to find Sorona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more hawk clumps while I'm there. I am here. Better have a look around. See if I can find that box of letters. Confringo! Ah, that's all the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Revelio. Oh, look at that. Climb! <laughs> yeah, the previous cave we were in... Confringo. ...was quite big and I got lost. Yeah, no gear I'm gonna get now is ever gonna make me feel excited because I literally have Yennefer's outfit and a gorgeous Slytherin robe. And then I have the Dark Arts one if I really feel like I want to change things up. Rebellion. What was in that cage? <gasps> I hope they're not keeping animals hostage here. I wouldn't even be surprised. Captive! Not hostage. Well, honestly, in my opinion, they are keeping the animals hostage. They kidnap them from their homes and are holding them against their wills. They are hostages. Pavelio. Well, I guess you ask money for a hostage. Ugh. Well, they I sell them. have to fight that troll or avoid it altogether. No, we're fighting it. Loud.
was a close one. It went well. Okay, it went well. Is that what they were keeping in here? Ugh, troll boogies. Oh, a doll. Look, there. Why is there a little doll in there? Rebellion. Creepy. Oh, it would have just opened. Revelio. Hey, Squirrel. If I jump down there, I can go through there. Okay. What's through here then? Oh, no, I have to go there. Jump. Let's get some of these. Not entirely... Okay, never mind. I wanted to say what that was, but I realized it is. Um, just a material. For a moment there, I thought it was a, a attack plant. I didn't even see what I got in that box. Rebellion. Oh well. On the road again. Where's that? Did I miss things again? Oh well. Dear Serona. Oh, this is the letters. Whoa. Okay, um, I'm not gonna read this. It's a bit long, it's gonna take long, and and English is not with me today, so there's the letter if anyone wants to see it. <laughs> this one is a bit shorter. Dear Serona, I conjured this wee gift for you as a token of my gratitude. If you hadn't stood your ground on my behalf during Quidditch, practice last week i might have left the team altogether and now we've won the quidditch cup ravenclaw house would not be the same without you oh she was in ravenclaw i did wonder another long one well it's not that long but still it's long to me this must be serona's box of letters Happy birthday, my dearest friend. I sneaked into the kitchens and asked Finky to make your favorite, Cream Crowdy. She was delighted to oblige. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it back. Yeah. I think that's everything. Serona- Oh, hmm. Interrupted the dialogue again. It's very hot today. The weather has been strange. One day it's raining, the next day it's hot, the next day it's cold. I don't like it. It's so inconsistent. Return the box of letters to Serona. Okay. I will do so. Uh, wait, I can just teleport there. What am I doing? Yeah, let's just teleport to Hogsby. Oh, that's Hogwarts. Hogsmeade, here I come. Okay. I didn't notice these before. It's nice. Serona, I have your letters! I wish if I walked it would zoom out a bit. Hello, Serona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wiganweld potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. Of course. May I ask? Okay, yeah. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. 
and it appears most of the letters were from fellow students. Where are you on the Quidditch team? Is Mirabelle Professor Garlic? Are Mrs. Sprottle and you as close as you seem? One of the letters mentioned Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling wow. of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. Aww, that's so sweet. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... Well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. Happy to help. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aidan. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. I do agree. Quest complete, a friend indeed. Cool. Any mail for me? No. Okay, then I have a few more quests I can do here. I want to check those out before oh. heading to Hogwarts. You You'll see, it was a mistake parting ways with me. You look interesting. Hello. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. How frustrating for you. I can see why. No, it's frustrating. They started this together. Together. Man up. Go through with it. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? <laughs> I'll do it. I'm not comfortable with this. I'll do it, but... What was your business with the with this person? Why is ven why this venomous tentacula? What else is in the cellar? You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train venomous tentacula, create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's nasal. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. <gasps> he ate a measle. A measle are those big cats. Okay, that is absolutely horrible, but there's no need to entirely cut someone out of the business, especially if you started it together. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's venomous tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. Oh, 
Oh, okay. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going, minus any competition. In general, I would not feel comfortable with doing something like this morally. Because the other person does seem like a nice person. But I do feel like they were in this agreement together. And the other person should not have just kicked out their friend. It's not their fault that the poor cat was eaten. Though that is very brutal. And very sad. I feel like the business idea was still this guy's. So it's just I'll right. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvellous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Like, uh, this is not Remember, good business. I Revenia. just need that venomous tentacular. Don't, don't misunderstand. This is not good business whatsoever. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. And stealing is never right. But this is a game. So I'm gonna live my best life. <laughs> this must be it. I think the plants are quite useful, but I really don't like them. They make me feel uneasy. This must be the cellar. Now to find that venomous tentacular. Who are you? Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Can I knock Mr. Lawley out? <clears throat> no. I don't like that. Why can't I, like, knock him out? Also, I do believe the other guy didn't necessarily have bad intentions. He just wanted Avelia. to start a business, make these plants a valuable asset. You know, things happen, accidents happen. Not everything goes planned. Hello, Amora. Let me just quickly get through this lock. There's literally no difference between the levels of the locks. The only difference is you don't have the spell yet. Where is that venomous tentacular? Avelio. Which I am to one extent glad for because I'm not a big fan of the lock picking. It's a bit tedious. Um. Ooh. Why does this man have bugs? Can I kill them? Yeah, I'll, I'll help you out with the infestation. Can I sneak attack them? No. I know that was overkill, but I don't like spiders. So many spiders. It's a wonder they haven't taken over the whole house. It is a wonder. Accio. Incendio. Well, I might as well. I think I have to put my attack volume lower. I think it's a bit loud. Um, but I don't know. I don't like the audio in this game. I do feel like Rebellion. strange things are loud and strange things aren't loud. And the cutscenes are always loud. And ugh. But yeah, I'm quickly gonna go put those a bit softer. Okay, hopefully Rebellion. that's... A little bit better. 
Akio. I don't care. Hi. Can't I loot that one? There we go. Now that I have the venomous tentacula, I should return to Mr. Barnes. I wonder Incendio. if you can somehow do this quest the other way around. Like, if you say nothing, do I just get nothing? Do I get no loot? Do I get no reward? Revelia. Is there a reason oh. to not do this? Except feeling it's morally inappropriate. Revelia. I feel like there's no benefit to not doing this. Oh, don't get stuck! Oh, man. Wait. There. It's such a small little pile of gold that I can't even loot. Run! Okay, I did it. I have done it. I have successfully stolen from an innocent man who lost his cat thing monster to a plant. But he did throw his friend under the bus. And I did get rewards. A certain friend of mine from a former friend of mine. Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. Ha! Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Clearly well you. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. Happy to correct the I would like to be paid. I stole for you. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again My dude, I don't go to Zonko's. You have a bright future. Quest complete, Venomous Revenge. Yeah, I don't go to Zonko's. I, I make potions to stay alive. Because I'm always in danger. Okay. What else can I do in Hogsmeade? This, whatever this is. Take the biscuit. Okay, let's go and see. This episode is turning into a purely side quest episode. I wanted to do the mission with... I can never remember her name. Um, Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Natty! I wanted to do the mission with her. I do without her. Oh, what's wrong? Gorn... Hello, is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf biscuit was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. No, we're gonna save Biscuit immediately. Um, why do they want your moon calf? Why do you have a pet? Why do you... That's such a dumb question. I, question. I don't even want to ask it. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Moon calf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flogged, skinned, gutted, and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. Such a dumb question, but I'll ask it. A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus, or even a goose that lays golden eggs. Oh, I understand that. I'll keep an eye out. No, I won't just keep an eye out. I will go get her now. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. How kind. 
If only all of Wizard Kine was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Well, this is the type of do character... Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnoff's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Well, this is the type of quest where, like, I don't want payment, I don't want a reward. You need to give me nothing. I will get your moon calf back with all the love in my heart. Because, again, I cannot stand animal cruelty. And not only that, they literally stole his pet. I mean, that's like, it's his family. It's his little baby. And they took it. And it's upsetting to me. Upsetting is not a word, is it? I don't know, but it felt Sometimes appropriate. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Why can't I use my broom? I should have just used my map to see if I can actually fly- uh, teleport there. But it didn't look too far, let me check quickly. Oh yeah, it's here in the bog. Let's go get Biscuit immediately, I can't, this is horrible. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Here. Oh. Okay. You dare come near me? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna hit you with my broom. Rude. I hate people. No, 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 stop, Poaches. stop. Poachers. God, if was right then, I had better be careful. Revelia. We will slay them all. Rookwoods don't go down easy. Where are they going? Guys, what's happening? Maybe some other type of animal attacked them? Now they all have shields on. How am I supposed to... <gasps> oh. Let's play predator and prey, shall we? I will save you guys, I promise. I just have to kill these guys. Over there. I wish I had a few curses. I want these people to suffer. <laughs> See, it's people like you that are driving me to the dark arts. Yeah, they're fighting with with animals, I guess. I wonder if that's like a scheduled event that happens so that if you want to, you can just sneak past and free, free these guys. Revelia. But I will wait for them to be done. Because, like I said, I want to murder them. There are quite a lot of them, though. Don't turn around. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh. Mr. Dennis. Next. Avelia. Oh, I should go loud and just light them all on fire. They deserve it. Am I gonna be spotted? I don't know, whatever. Why are they slowly but surely going that way? Oh wait, this is the fancy one. No, it wasn't the fancy one. What? Show yourself. Allow me to put you. Listen careful not to get beat. Um. <laughs> You took that gobble! Confringo! 
Ability one. This one. We're in prey, shall we? people Rebellion. i still feel like the combat is really loud it doesn't matter if i put my volume like super soft i feel like the combat is just like way too loud any hey, they are all now perished you guys are free hi alohomora okay Now then, which one of you is Biscuit? Um, Biscuit? What do I do with Biscuit? Do I do I just slurp Biscuit up? Whoops. Do I do I slurp Biscuit? Also, I want to equip something that I don't much care for. Biscuit. Levioso. No, Biscuit. Did that count? Yeah. Right, biscuit. Let's get you back to God. Oh no, I'm screwing up. Revelio. Biscuit is saved. Return to run on off. Pop. Wait, why do I never just teleport? It's because I low-key like flying. It was Hogsmeade, right? It's just so pretty to fly around in Hogwarts, you know? Hogsmeade, here I come. I have your moon path. I have Biscuit. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. You did. Here she is. Garneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you for asking. We're both fine. Biscuit is fine, as uh, am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. That's so sweet. I'm sure she'll be glad to be home. I'd like to be compensated for my efforts. She's safer with me? Guys, she is safer with me, but I will never take someone's baby from them. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. I'm glad. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. It was my pleasure. Oh, I'm so glad we could help. That was that was 
bad. It was bad. They just stole his moon cough, like... Oh. oh, that's always so creepy when they just teleport away, but... Let me see what else there is to be done. Oh, I just love Hogsmeade. Wow. The music is so spooky currently. But yeah, let's see. Okay, so the next thing we will be doing is astronomy class because I just love all the classes and I'm really excited to do a new class and see what it's all about. So here we are. We're probably gonna have to nap on the Handy floor for a bit. Indeed, your field guide. Actually, no. I'm astronomy is a nighttime thing. So guys, let's go. I'm so excited for this. <gasps> wow. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies? Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Nice! Oh! <gasps> still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Well. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? Yes. Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Well, I think it was cool. Oh, hello. I'm Amit. We met in potions class. I'm happy to report that we've yet to have any explosions in this class. Oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. <gasps> Thank you. Um, I can't take your telescope. Oh, thank you. How kind. I think it would be rude to say no, honestly. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I... Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh... reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Sure. This is very nice. Try to put off my stargazing as the long as I could. The stars are a bit square. Oh, that did. oh How I can am talk I supposed to, some to find Sirius, and my hands are too cold to use a telescope. It's a dog, isn't it? <gasps> ah! Did you guys hear that? He was like, "How are we supposed to find Sirius? It's a dog, isn't it?" That's so cool. Oh, Sirius Black. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. 
Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. Ugh, not how I wanted to spend my evening. That's mean. I think she's cool. Peeves is abusing someone. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. Hi. Oh, I didn't get the... Is it telling me to go up? Whoops. Oh, this way down. Oh, <gasps> cool. Expellions. Don't, don't Keep mind me. Move the page. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. Revelia. Well, of course, he's passionate about this. I hate when I can't see them. He just took care <sighs> of it. A pristine night for stargazing. There it is. Do not let it be wasted. Kill the page! Astronomy telescope. This telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind. Perfect for viewing the moon and the stars and anything else one might find in the night sky. Aliens! Our meat thinks he knows everything. Even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. The constellations are beautiful. I'm not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they are beautiful. Should have brought the scarf. Don't complain. Be better. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third rate lunoscope. <laughs> But there is, um, something else. Yes. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Yeah, I have seen it. And you'd like help to find it? So the telescope came with a catch? Well, of course. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Nice. Sounds exciting. I'm in. Oh, no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? We shall. This is gonna be nice. I have seen those and had no idea what to do with them. Oh, wow, look! The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. You sound a bit nervous yourself there, buddy. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Of course it isn't. What did you expect? Ooh, a bathtub. This bathtub has been kept behind lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumor has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for ill personal hygiene can we unlock this boss tub again oh do i have to talk to you no find the astronomy well just Nintendo. that's not the right spell Closer. Guess that works too. 
later, Wes. Come with you. If you don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Not this close to the school, Emmett. Look, there's a table. Yeah. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. I'm assuming I just put the telescope here. Yeah. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Okay. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. It's a bit bright for my liking. Okay, I did it. Oh, that's a loot. That's not a loot. I have no idea what that is. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, I appreciate that. Ha, if you say so. I look forward to that. Believe in yourself. One day, I will read your book and look for my name in it. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. I love how enthusiastic he is about everything. Astronomy class completed. Find the astronomy tablets challenge. Ah, never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. Where? Is it there? Well, that is really pretty. Okay, I want to see what, what does that quest give when I complete it? Uh, what is the point of it? Oh, it's not even there. Huh. Okay, everyone. I will be ending today's episode right here. In the next one, I will see what Sebastian wants. Because I did see we have a quest that says he and Ominous was arguing about something. And I should go check in what's happening there. And then we can also go talk to... Natty! I think I think that's her name. She wants to see us and it's again somewhere like way outside of Hogwarts. So I'm quite curious to see what happens there. If you guys are interested as well, then stick around and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when I post the next magical adventure. Also, I again want to give a big thanks for everyone who watched today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Have a lovely day. Bye!